Hey everyone, and welcome to part 8 of Game Dev Tycoon. The last episode, we're, <laughs> we're finding ourselves in a rut again. We made a new engine that's probably the majority, the big cause of the, the financial difficulties we're running, we're running into. Right now, we're currently doing some contracts just to get research points to make some money. After this contract ends, I think we need to make a new game. Now, let's just see if there's any other contract work maybe we could just plow through real quick. Don't know about any of that stuff. This stuff, yeah. Now, I don't know if we're going to have enough money. I have a feeling we're going to run into bankruptcy here. And we're going to get that, that loan that you always get. That I've seen before. Not when I was playing, of course. But just, I've seen it. So, a sequel. I think we settled on a sequel here. Sparkle, Infant Sparkle. But, I was thinking. Well, did we make a Space Lasers? And the brand for the oh we did we made a sequel to Space Lasers we called it that okay so the Infant Strikes Back I'm looking through our history of games we know have made us some monies yeah, yeah that, that game lost us money yes yeah, a lot of these games have just been mediocre like Infant has the moves was good a dance casual game well can we know casual games I think that was a good combo. I mean, no casual games work well in the game link. Now, the problem is the game link is going to be phased out here soon. Ninjas in my living room. <laughs> How much did that make us? 156k. Well, it might, might behoove us to make a sequel of an old game we just have had sitting here. So that's a sequel to one of our first games. We know it's a good combo. Ninja in action. Uh, now, what was our most recent game? Now, the problem is i got to see if we're making repeats here. So we do, we've done an action game recently. We need something different. RPG, I, okay, I, I think doing Sparkle and Fun Sparkle would be the best idea here, just because it's different. It's so small, everyone, pick platform. We can't even afford the license cost for that. Now, this is an RPG. Now, I'm going to take or go out on a limb here, and I do think RPG games were better. On the, I don't know if they're... I think they are good on the play system. Yeah, they are. Game engine, we're going to use our new engine here. Now this is probably going to cause some problems. So we know that this is a good combo. We know, or we should know rather, that everyone is good for the play system and for the genre. So this is Sparkle and Fun Sparkle. Shiny and Fun is shiny. Ish shiny is shiny. It'd help if I could spell. So we're basically putting all eggs in one basket here. This has got to do well. This is going to cost me so much money. We're going to hit. We're going to go negative. There's not a damn thing I can do about it. We have to do well here, and I think we have to market. And it's going to cost all us us all of our money. We're going to go. We're going to go in the negatives here. We have to do it. Uh, let's. Th okay. Now, depending here. Here's something I think I've been doing wrong here. Now, an action. Or I'm sorry. An RPG game. Story and quest is the most important. Gameplay is a big thing. Engine I didn't think was too, too important. So, th these are engine features. Why spend all that money? So, story and quest, we want everything we can throw in there. Gameplay doesn't hurt to have even more in there. That's just going to make gameplay even more fun, I think. But does that take away from story and quest? I don't think so. So, there's no point in throwing that stuff into engine if engine isn't important, I don't think. So, we've already marketed. Let's go here. Yeah, we got work full teams working on a new game, so it's another interview. I think if oh wait, okay. This is a different interview. Many of our readers are curious about what decisions go into making a video game and how companies prioritize development areas. Your new game is a vampire RPG game. Can you tell us whether such a game would usually receive more focus on dialogues or AI? RPG, I'm gonna have to go with dialogues. So dialogues. And then that's a interview that hopefully will cause some hype here. But bank counts in the red, thankfully we enabled you for overdraw. Yeah, once you go below that, which we're about to, I think we're gonna get a up oh, here we go. We'll, we'll get like a bailout. Uh cooking okay, our fire RPGs and ask how many counter folks have different interview, blah blah blah. So it's very important. Yep, okay. So so they they agreed. They agreed. So that didn't hurt us in any negative way. Now dialogues again, as we just told the guy. <laughs> Dialogues are pretty important in an RPG. Level design was pretty good. AI is non-existent. Now here's another thing. So AI, we don't need to put better AI here. Level design, why not add Easter eggs? Let's go. 
creators of a few companies have fallen victim to Nigerian scammers. Scammers often claim to invest large sums that require an upfront payment, so we didn't we didn't pay that. That was that was pretty obvious. There are these like little event things in the game. Hey! There's a DS. But they call it the GS. Alright, so that would be good for I'm assuming more casual games, so we can probably capitalize on that. We know that's gonna be a hit. DS is definitely pretty big. At least in real life. This game is gonna have to sell like fucking hotcakes. Hey, look! There's a PS. or well, I'm gonna say PSP, but they call it the PPS. Later next year, media analysts speculate this announcement is meant to distract users from the Invento's launch of the Invento GS. Which is used as an innovative dual screen PPS, makes use of a single screen, will focus on giving developers access to much more powerful hardware. Alright. Wow, we are, we are raking in the bugs. Again, RPG game world design is important. Graphics are. Oh, Okay, and sound I don't think really matters, so given sound doesn't really matter, let's not put anything there. World design, let's go all out. Alright, we're, we're negative here. Yep, go bankrupt. We'll give you 680000 then you have to pay them double it. So if we don't do this, we go bankrupt, we, we fail. We have to accept it and we have to pay it, which fucking sucks. <laughs> This could be the end, guys. This could be the end. Hopefully, hopefully not. We definitely did way better, I think, in terms of points this time around. I'm happy on that front. Get rid of them bugs. Bugs are gone. Finish. 20 hype. Strong audience right now is for young, so we got a new record on both, which is fantastic. Level up on Preston. Okay, now, yeah, you guys, they're demanding more money when we're nearly bankrupt. Special training is now available for this guy. I'm assuming that's the boost. Okay, so he hit level 5. He can do a boost. Uh, let's see here. Research. Multi-genre. That's not too much money, but right now, I don't know if we want to focus on money. Or if we want to just go into the contract work. If we can do any of it. Probably be able to do that. We're not going to do a game report. Let's do this first. Our new reviews are in. Uh, higher than that, please. Keep eights and nines. Okay. Oh, that, that's good. This needs to sell like crazy to make up for the, the bankruptcy bailout. Oh, that's good. Contract successful. That is very good. Now, do we want to just jump into a sequel for another game that that did that fared well? That might be the smart thing to do. Let's see here. Anything that I can do? I wanted to go back here. Why don't we? Because we're, we're basically. I, I think the game has an odd way of scoring you, and it's not subjective to just purely how many points you get. It's a lot about development, and I think it's a lot about your improvement over a previous game. So, if we take a game like this, which was our first game ever, it wasn't bad for our first game, but I think if we make a sequel to it, we just blow the previous one out of the water, I think that's good. So, before I do that though, let me just make sure, I think we've we've done an RPG and an action game, maybe another action game wouldn't be too smart. So let, let's go back here, so we don't want an RPG, we don't want an action game. So, pet, virtual pet sim, was that a good combo? I think it was. Dance. Dance and action was terrible. We don't want another. We don't want another action. We don't. I don't think we want another sim. Strategy game might not be bad. Engine action again. City sim. Dance casual. Virtual pet casual. Sci-fi and action. We've done a lot with ga with uh, casual and action. Sim and, and sim. Hmm. We have definitely done a lot of sims and action. Action is probably my biggest thing here. Sims. What about a mystery? Or what about a dance casual game? I haven't done casual in a while. Casual. That's a great combo. Now, platform. What's the market share on the GES? 16% versus 17. We. Well, I'm going to assume on the GS, casual is going to be pretty good. I think that's the way it'll work. And then I think it'll also... Yeah, we're we're going to do this. We're going to bank on this. 
let's uh, stay with dance. Obviously, game engine, new one. We're gonna go after the young audience, giggity giggity, and not not because the the strong audience right now is young, because I think that's the target audience for the DS or well the GS here. So we've done like shake that and fun and dance and fun dance and do the do the and fun. He's a dance move. Do the and fun. So small game, young dance, casual GS, new engine, go. Better graphics, best graphics we can do. Shiny Anfon needs to sell to make up for that bailout because we need one million. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to do what we've done. Ooh, we'll find out. Casual game, obviously gameplay is huge. Engine I don't think matters. And story and quests, again, I think it's like, ah. I think we should have, I'm scratching my eye here. I'm sorry there, guys. Eyelash, I think it's a little bit more important than the engine, but I don't think it's all that great. So we'll bring it up a little bit. Now, gameplay. We want all these things that we can put in here. Uh, story and quests, we don't need any of that. That'll just save us money. There's no point in throwing that in there, so why do it? Because it's not important. So I say we stick to what's strong, and we throw all of the effects we can do into it. And of course, I do again think, even though it's going to cost us a lot of money, hopefully it's not so close to that month that we have to pay. I should have looked paid more attention. We're going to have to pay that one million. I think we're screwing up, guys. Level design is important. Dialogue, so is this a casual game? So no. Yeah, let's bring that down to like, ugh, maybe here. And AI can be like poopy. Gameplay or level design's gotta be fun. Let's go. That memorable game by Volksanth has been released. Rarely have you been so captivated in conversation. Shiny and fun is shiny. <laughs> really deserve the, the top spots in the charts. All right. Shiny and fun and shiny, better sell some more. <laughs> we're gonna need it. Alright, so graphics I think we're given. They are super important. Sound was pretty beast, and world design was meh. So sound is important, but world design's more. We don't or I'm sorry. Graphics important. We want that. We want I think we want some sound here. We want stereo that. World design doesn't need to exist, I don't think. So that's probably a good balance. Maybe even a little more, a little less, something like that. Oh come on, this game needs to go on sale right now. I'm worried about our payment. <laughs> God, fix them bugs. I don't think we did as good point-wise as we did last time. Bugs are gone. Let's see here. No records, which is bad. I think we broke both records last time. Let's release that game. Experience, they've earned a raise, new research available, mini games. Let's do contract work. What can we do? That one. Come on, game, sell. Reviews for the new game is released. Let's see what happens. Ooh, that's good. Nines? Nines? Eights? That's good. Sell strong! Two months of Dream Pass will be taken off the market. Okay, these guys are going to need are going to need to go and vacate soon, but let's see if we can get any more contract work out of them real quick. Yep, I got a sneeze. One sec. So apparently everybody like do the Anfon. Fun. Folks, Anthony has re recently released a sequel to their game, Dance and Fun Dance. The newest game in the series titled Do the Anfon Fun <laughs> was met with great responses. Critics praised that Do the Anfon Fun had a newer engine than the original, really driving technical innovation. So that's probably something they look forward to as well, going from a different engine for, to a sequel. So maybe every time you do a sequel, always have a different engine. I think we're finding a trend here. So we're, I think we're good right now on the bailout. We still need to keep making money. Do Anfon needs to sell like hotcakes. Okay, we've done that. You can go on vacation here, of course, before we do our next game. We'll do, do our game report here. Probably do another one ourselves before these guys get back. Our games are selling. It's doing it's good. Now again, we're gonna we're gonna have a million dollar penalty here soon, so we that's not don't let that mislead you. When I started playing Do the End, but I had no idea what I was in for. I <laughs> don't blame you! Truly outstanding visual design is only one of the many reasons why Do the End Fun deserves your attention. Well, what can I say? Stop reading, start playing. Jason Greenworld Game. J 
Jason Green Gaming World. I almost read that Green World Gaming. Or, okay, let's let that go. Come on, you guys get back from your vacay here. Okay, you can do a game report on the other game. When you get back, I say we train you. Oh, yeah, you're pretty balanced. Let's do design. Let's get your points up here. I'm trying to keep him relatively even as well. If we can make better games, it might not hurt to get another person. Just because they contribute to the overall points of the game. Role design seems to not be very important. Platform genre was great. Topic audience was great. Perfect. So we hit the nail on the head basically everywhere on that. Sounds not important. Platform genre match. RPG play system 2 is great. Okay, so... Is there any easy contract work we can do while we wait for this guy to do his thing here? No... I don't feel confident doing that. Anything I can research here, because we do have a lot of points here. New topic. Game dev. We can do a game dev sim! That's gotta be good. I think before we do that, we maybe research some things here that may help us make better games. Now, multi-genre is probably gonna be really good. I think it's something we need to just get. And bite the bullet. Dreamfast is no longer supported. Let's train. I'm sorry, let's... Oops, let's do research. Mini games. Now this is all pretty expensive to research. Let's go for it. Excuse me. Do the end still selling, thankfully. Whenever these guys get back, he should get back from training. We're gonna have to jump into another sequel if we can. Completed multi-genre. Two months of the gambling will be taken off the market. That's a sad, sad day. Oh, I still have my Game Boy Advance, my SP, my, my Game Boy Color. <laughs> I kept all that stuff. Dude, the Anaphon is now off the market. It made us two million dollars. Two million dollars! Yes. That's good. Get back from your training here, bud. We have more games to work on. It's gotta be done here soon. I don't want to throw them in the training quite yet. Or, in a game. Okay. Everyone's back. Dev sequel. So again, let's let's pay attention to our most recent games. So dance casual, so RPG casual, action. Medieval strategy was pretty recent. Uh, it's been a while since we've done a sim. Let's see here. Develop sequel. Oh, we have to pick. I was gonna say, let me see what genres we have to pick from. Maybe a sim. Sims have been kind of a go-to. So let's go back to one of our earliest sims. Virtual Pet Sim wasn't very good. City Sim, we already know, is fantastic, typically. Who killed Anfon? Well, hopefully nobody. City Sim, and now we have multi genre. So a simulation. Ugh, and now here's where, here's where I don't know. I don't know if this could negatively affect us. Now. We know, okay, a strategy sim sounds sounds viable. And we know strategies, or I think I know strategies and sims are both perfect on the PC. So I'm going to go to the PC. We're going to pick our new engine. And this is sequel to Branfinny City. Bran, Branfinny City. Hmm. Hmm. Space Age. This is a future city sim in space. It's a sequel, guys. Uh, everyone. Now, the target audience for the PC is mature, but I don't think everyone's a bad audience to go with. So we're gonna we're gonna roll with that. Again, uh, new new two D or new three D graphics. And uh, don't forget here, guys. Coming soon. That one million penalty's coming. Okay. So what do we know about Sims? Sims. Gameplay and engine, I believe. Gameplay, engine, they're the best. Story and quest, I don't think really mattered much. So story and quest, I don't want. Engines, I want I want that stuff. Let's have all these extras. Something like that sounds good. Let's get to work. One of these days, we'll get a boost for a guy, and that'll allow us to make a better game. Oh, 22 points. That, oh, shit, we didn't hype it. I always forget. So AI, I believe, was pretty important for a sim. Now, what about strategy? I think it's pretty important. Sim strategy. See, a lot of these things are going to overlap, but I think it was primarily a sim. So I'm going to go with AI. 
Uh, now, I think level design is pretty important, but I don't think dialogues mean too much in either of them. So dialogues we don't want. AI, we'll take better AI. Let's go about there. And marketing. Let's do magazine demos. Now we're coming up on our payment here. Today, the new game platform PPS by Vani has been released. Up oh, here's our G3 booth. Let's see what we get. <sighs> we definitely, we definitely came out again on top. Hopefully, even after this big payment, big bankruptcy payment, we can, we can get back on our feet here. We had a hunt, 124,000 people. Not top 100. That's all right. Not bum heard about it. Seems the market is normalized. No, no strong trends. Okay, so in a sim, again, graphics I think were actually pretty up there. Sound was pretty up there. World design, ooh. I think world design's like a meh, because I think between the two, I think in a strategy game, world design was pretty important, but in a sim game it wasn't. So we'll, I think we'll mix and match here. Let's do something like that. So world design, we'll add a day-night cycle. An open world. We'll add everything. We'll, we'll try and crush it. Let's crush it. Sound was important, uh, right? I think it was. I think sound was pretty, pretty important. Let's go about there. Let's see here. Gameling is no longer supported. You've released a total of five games, and we made 2.1 million dollars. Up oh, here we go. Three months time. So three months here. So month nine. I think we killed it on the points here, guys. This might be a good game. Kill, kill those bugs. New record on tech. AI level, 2D graphics leveled. Uh, do we have any game reports to generate? I don't believe so. While we wait here, let's get into some contract work. Just extra money on the side. And these guys should be able to do it, so let's generate a game report here while we wait. Ranfony City Space Age has come in with reviews. Oh, I'm seeing tens. I'm seeing nines and tens. Oh, you're lowballed me. Nine. Nine. Nine, nine, nine. Eight. Not bad. Good. Alright, I think doing sequels for older games is a smart idea. All done. Contract work. Ooh. That we may be able to do. My guy needs to get back here, I think, just to be safe. Post analysis has come out. City and stratulation. That's a great combo. Engine seems to be quite important for this type of game. Nice. So now we have multi-genre. That, that's a little, little different. We'll transfer 31k. Any other quick contracts we can pound out? That one, oh yeah, that's easy peasy. Poop on that one. A lot of good surprises waiting for you in the brand free city space age. The cube computer controlled entities in this game are so incredibly convincing that I caught myself talking to them at times. Simply one of the best games I've played. Gary White Gamers. Good. That's what I want to see. So, let's go to the next one here. So what we've done is a sim strategy, casual, RPG, action. Now, adventure, action adventure might not be a good, or not, might not be a bad one to do. But we do want to do it on a different platform, or we want to have a better engine. So, is there any old action? Amazon's Redemption didn't do, or did pretty bad, but we we'll probably. Now we, we've done pseudo sequels to the, this game. We haven't done an official, you know, go through the sequel system and do it. We, we've done just like renaming them. Amazon's Redemption. <laughs> Let's see what other what other ones we have. Ninjas in my living room. Okay, so Ninjas in my ceiling never actually existed because we messed up the name. Let's redo it. Ninja action. What about adventure with a ninja game? Now, how well does that work? Uh, I'm trying to think of other games that have that. I don't know. I don't think that might. I don't think that's a good idea. Hmm. Let me go back to sequel. I'm trying to think of of things that I know are gonna just be hits. I choose you, comma, and fun, virtual pet casual. Was that a No, I don't want to do a sim. Sci-fi action. This one this one flopped for some reason. When was this made? Oh, this was made ten years ago. A sci-fi action 
adventure. So sci-fi, is a sci-fi like adventure? I believe it does. So sci-fi action adventure. Action, now we know for a fact Adventure's great on the PC. Action's okay. Now we did, it was a mature game, and that is the target audience for the PC. I say we try it here. So Anfon, Anfon, age 2142. Anfon, age 2142. Well, 1942, 2142. <laughs> 3042. It doesn't have to make sense, guys. I'm doing this off the Battlefield franchise, if you can, you can guess that much. We need to keep pounding out the good games. We need to keep getting positive here. 3D graphics V2. You bet. Marketing right off the fucking get-go. We're not going to do a large campaign. We're going to lose... Within this month, we're going to lose a million dollars. Let's go. That's our payment. <sighs> this is nerve-wracking, guys. Nerve-wracking. So, an action and an adventure game. An action game, I did believe engine was important. But in an adventure game, I think story and quests were pretty important. Gameplay in an adventure game I don't think was all that great, so I think gameplay should be like right here. Now, I think that's a good balance. Well, what you have to do is remember what was good in each one of those categories. So we want this and this and this. Now gameplay, maybe you get rid of some of those more expensive ones and try that. Now we've already started marketing it, right? Game history. Yeah, we've already started marketing. Right, we're getting hype. We want to market it again, unless can, can you do? I bet you can do it over and over again. Let's try another magazine. Just see if that adds to the hype. The amount. Yep, 1.2 million has been deducted, so that's about half our money there. Okay, an action adventure game, and um, I think again it's a split between these two. I think that's how it worked. I think I think this might be a bad combo. It scares me. Level design was pretty meh between the two, I think. So, dialogues. Obviously, we take what little of dialogues we can. Level design. Yep, all the features we can take here. Let's go for that. You throw them points in there, guys. Give me them bubbles. Doing pretty good here. <laughs> uh, action, adventure, again. No, I think graphics were pretty important for both of them. I don't think world design was great in an action game, but I think it was pretty important in an adventure. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I think sound was not overly important. I think graphics are what's what's what. So why don't we do stereo sound? We'll get rid of the soundtrack. World design will keep everything there. Keep the 3D V2 graphics. Let's release it. And see what happens. More points, guys. We've gotten more points than other games previous. Come on, you gotta beat our records. 19 bugs. I don't want to set that record. Ranfinity City Space Age made us 2.1 mil. Nice. Alright, we're pounding out them bugs. Bugs are gone. Let's see what happens. No records. It's a new combo. We leveled up me. Uh, contract work. Is there anything I can do here? Maybe. Ugh. I don't know about that one. Uh, no, I don't feel confident with any of those. Can we do a game report real quick? We can. I think it's time to wrap it up, guys. We're probably going to get a review here. We'll, we'll show you the review. Let's see what happens. I'm seeing ones. Oh my god, really? Really? How did it do that bad? I figured this would be pretty good. I think the combination between them was pretty bad. Uh, the, the action adventure, I don't think that worked very well. Ugh, see, this, this is what happens. You do. We had a string of beautiful games, and then suddenly, it's just it's shit. But we'll find out what kind of shit we're in later, guys. Episode eight. Using that new engine, we went bankrupt. No, we didn't go bankrupt. We defaulted basically. We with uh, overdrew our bank account. We're given six hundred some thousand dollars. We paid double that back. We need the next game. It has to be a hit. It's gotta be. So, we'll see what we can do in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.